Hello everyone, my name is Mick Mix, and this month I am talking Goblin Slayer. <laughs> Today, I'll explain to you how the adventurer rank system works in the world of Goblin Slayer. Most of the information comes from the original work and not from the anime, but so far, the anime has been following the manga religiously. So, 99% of what I'm saying in this video will probably apply to the anime adaptation too. Before I analyze the 10 ranks in the Goblin Slayer universe, Let's get everyone on the same page by sharing some basic information about adventurers. You can skip to the analysis of the ranks by clicking to this minute in the video. First, what is an adventurer in the world of Goblin Slayer? Well, there are individuals who take it upon themselves to complete tasks given to them by the Adventurers Guild. And the reward, money of course, all they need to do is register in the guild and then they can complete the tasks on their own or with a party of adventurers. The guild doesn't discriminate among species or races, so anyone can be an adventurer. What about the adventurer ranks then? What are they? Well, as soon as you sign up in the adventurer's guild, they give you a dog tag. Kinda like the ones you see in the army. This tag is an official adventurer identification. It verifies you work for the guild and your rank within the adventurer community. What identifies the rank of each adventurer is the material from which the dog tag is made of. Now, let's look at the 10 adventurer ranks and the material their tags are made of. Rank 10. Porcelain. It's the beginners, the rookies rank. It's the rank that's given to someone who has just registered in the adventurers guild and is the lowest known rank. It's not uncommon for porcelain adventurers to die off in their first mission since they're pretty weak and inexperienced. Known adventurers who hold this rank? Young Priestess in the beginning of the story and the Young Adventurer party attacked in the first Goblin Cave. Rank 9. Obsidian Porcelain adventurers who survive their first missions and successfully complete a certain amount of them can go through a promotion interview and receive the Obsidian rank. Known adventurers who hold this rank Young Priestess currently. Rank 8. Steel. Note, when it comes to ascending to a higher rank, the same process applies for all adventurers, all the way up to rank 2. Although ranks 8 to 4 are held by many adventurers of varying power, the story so far hasn't presented any by name. So, there are no known adventurers of significance to the story for these ranks. Rank 7, Sapphire. Rank 6, Emerald. Rank 5, Ruby. Rank 4, Bronze. Rank 3, Silver. One of the highest adventurer ranks. In this rank, adventurers are highly skilled and able to take down multiple opponents at once. They have also been adventuring for some time and they have completed numerous tasks. Usually, silver rank adventurers form parties with other silver ranks to take down bigger and more serious threats than the other parties. Known adventurers who hold this rank, well, obviously the protagonist, Goblin Slayer, Elf Archer, Dwarf Shaman, Lizard Priest, Heavy Swordsman, Female Knight, Spearman, and the Witch. Rank 2, Gold. The second highest rank in the world of Goblin Slayer and one of the toughest to obtain. In order to become a Golden Rank Adventurer, you have to complete labors of unparalleled difficulty. To give you just a glimpse of the types of threats one must face to become a Golden Rank. Let me tell you a story. The only known Golden Rank in the story so far, the Sword Maiden, helped to take down an entire cult which empowered and wanted to resurrect the Demon Lord. Again, she and her party stopped the Demon Lord of this universe. Now, you understand why it's so difficult to get to this rank. Rank number one, Platinum. Only a select few have ever achieved this rank in the entire history of the guild and have become known as legends all across the land of this fictional universe. 
Not one of them has appeared in the story so far, and it's possible that none of them is alive currently. These were all the existing adventurer ranks in the Goblin Slayer universe. If you just found out about the series, click that subscribe button to get notified when I upload another Goblin Slayer video. Don't forget to like and comment about what would you like to learn about Goblin Slayer and his universe. Hey, do you like Boku no Hero Academia? Then click right here to watch Boku no Hero Academia prediction video about the future of the series. See you again, Otaku Adventurers. Yeah.